Hi, my name is Ryder Medistin and welcome back to some Cafe Stella. I have nothing important to say today, so let's just get straight into this video. This just might be the shortest intro ever. Good morning. The next morning, I stopped by the cafe to see how the preparations for the street stall are coming along. But the moment I open the door, I freeze in my tracks. The bodies of three women lay strewn across the couch. No wait, they're just sleeping. Listening to Hiyochida Nisan Mambo in her sleep is so cliche it's almost comical. Why are you up? What the heck happened here? Point to the three unconscious girls. That's why. Mikado peeks his face out from behind Akizuki-san. Surely there wasn't any need to stay up all night, was there? Ah, Suzune-san, who had apparently awoken in the meantime, stands up sluggishly. She's got the weird eyes again. Though she moves like a zombie, there's a fiery glint in her eye and a fearsome smile on her lips. If she were holding a knife instead of a crepe spatula, she'd be the very picture of some crazed serial killer. <laughs> Roused by the noise we're making, Shiksan and Hiyochidani san slowly get up as well. They can hardly, f they can hardly finish greeting me without yawning. That guess they're both still half asleep. Don't overdo it, guys. The festival's tomorrow. This will be our first time opening a street stall outside. Hmm. I guess you're right. Seems like they've been having a much tougher time than I thought. I'll have to express my gratitude to them again once this is all over. Suzuna san holds out a crepe towards me. Chocolate and banana, eh? Well, let's have a bite. The aroma of her freshly made crepe tickles my nostrils. I take a bite. The bananas and cream, each with their own distinct sweetness, harmonize exquisitely with the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Mm! This might be the best crepe I've ever had. Before I realize it, I've wolfed down the entire thing. Water time, boys. Suzuna san smiles proudly. How does something with such simple ingredients taste this good? I really can't thank her enough for all she's done. She's finally got the dance memorized, I think. We're just going to spend the rest of the day polishing up her moves. She hands me a paper bag. Inside are four servings of crepes and hot coffee. Oh wow. Thank you. And let me thank you guys on the zombies behalf too. I bow deeply. Alright, I'll see you guys later. It's for a good cause. When I arrived at the shrine, I quickly distributed the crepes and coffee to Nozomi's family. Nozomi and I decided to sit outside and eat, treating this as our breakfast. 
We better work hard today too, so we don't let the other's effort go to waste. Zomi swallows the rest of her crepe before putting on her game face. So, tomorrow, after I finish my shift at the stall, I'll come and help you prepare for the dance. Until then, you just continue practicing while I'm on standby. Sound good? Huh? But if she doesn't want to mess up, surely it'd be better for her to spend her remaining time practicing? She anxiously peers up at me. Her face is really close. Crap, my heart's pounding again. Uh, Alright, fine, we'll do that. You and I will work the stall until 3 o'clock, then we'll go over the dance steps one final time together. After that, it'll be time for your performance. Speak rapidly, averting my blushing face. <laughs> She gives me right hand. She gives me right hand. She gives my right hand a squeeze. Oh god, it's so soft and smooth. Heartbeat rising. <clears throat> anyway, Nozomi, son, let's get to practicing. Try my best to feign calmness. Right now, my focus should be making the dedication dance tomorrow a success. <laughs> Nozomi rises at her feet. Perhaps it'll. It's only my imagination, but her mannerisms seem much more graceful than yesterday. Much more Shrine Maiden-esque. Without a word, she takes several steps forward. Her feet make no sound. Even as she continues to walk. The grounds, too, have fallen deadly silent, making her. Her bells ring out clearly. Once, twice, three times. I don't know why. But I feel my heart being deeply stirred. Huh? Oh. Before I knew it, before I know it, the dance is over. Beside me is Nozomi, staring at me worriedly. No, I'm fine. It was great. You didn't make a single mistake. It was much, much better than yesterday. In fact, I was downright entranced. Relieved? Her words make my pulse rise sharply again. Dang, I can't take much more of this. At this rate, you're seriously going to make me fall in love with you. Though I already have. Okay. I am. I have not one shred of wickedness in my entire being. That was a Fist of the North Star reference, actually. But, oh well. She gives her bells a quick jingle. Then she begins to dance. Right now, I feel incredibly proud of her. This beautiful shrine maiden is one of my oldest, dearest friends. As soon as her bells stop ringing, Nozomi gives the Shinza, the divine seat, a quiet bow. All at once, the pleasant air of tension is released. Incredible. To my untrained eye, at least, it appeared as if the dance had been performed by a genuine shrine maiden. It's unbelievable how much she's improved over the course of a single day. Oh. You were amazing, seriously. I applaud showering her with generous compliments. I'm not. If you want, you can watch the video I took and see for yourself. She plops down next to me. Side by side, we stare at the screen of my phone together. See? Pretty good, right? Okay. 
Let me try it again. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> See, how am I supposed to know they're having lines like that? Well, how about we see what your dad thinks? She said no. She shoots down my suggestion at the speed of light. What's the big deal? He's gonna see you dance tomorrow anyway. Come on now. I think that qualifies domestic abuse, Nusomi san. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'll believe her. Probably. That's not very reassuring. Yuchidani san appears, waving toward us. Hey, you guys finished preparing for the stall already? Jianzo's white paper bags. <laughs> oh, they're still hot too. Thanks, Akane's voice actress. Thanks, I was just starting to get a little hungry. Nozomi's air of solemn dignity from before quickly vanishes. In an instant, she's back to her usual, bright and cheerful self. Yeah, as long as she does what we practiced, I think she'll be fine. She comes from a long line of Shinto priests, so she's got a real knack for this sort of thing. I didn't do much, really. It's all thanks to her own hard work. She might have struggled a lot yesterday, but there were barely any mistakes for me to point out today. Yeah? I keep thinking it's not of I keep forgetting it is not official yet. Whoops. She just outright asked it. What? Uh I'm not really I falter. Seriously? How? I had no idea. Women sure are sharp when it comes to these things. Hmm? Wait a minute. Does that mean Nozomi knows how I feel about her too? Hmm. Only a probability, eh? Yeah, Chidani-san smacks me on the knee. Hmm. I mean, I was planning to. But taking that one final step isn't easy. That said, I can't keep on maintaining the status quo forever either. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Nozomi returns carrying a tray with three cups of tea. What? Hiyochidani san, stop being so misleading. These birds? What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Oh. Level the predator, alright. She kicks me in the back with her socked feet. Ow, ow, it's not what you're thinking, Nozomi san. Yochidani san, tell her. Don't just stand there and laugh. Hey, yo. I'm not a masochist, but in the end, I'm still at a loss. Am I really going to be able to work up the courage to confess to Nozomi? You know what? Before starting this route, I was thinking, this route is going to be alright. But honestly, her route is pretty good. My body gently sways the and fro, and to fro, to and fro, almost like I'm being rocked in a cradle. How soothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I feel something soft and smooth tapping my cheek. What is that? Feels good. What kind of thread is that? Hmm. A kiss? Go ahead, I dare you. Mm. I'm getting a strange sense of deja vu. In that instant, a deeply unpleasant memory comes flashing back to me. Ah! Ah! Huh? What the f- <laughs> <laughs> my field of vision is suddenly filled with Izomi's face. What's more, the sensation on my lips. Alright, please, no. We're kissing? Wait, what? I'm kissing Izomi? The moment I awoke, our lips had collided head on. Please don't torture me with those sounds. Sorry. Coming to my senses, I pull myself back. I just know that 18 plus root or the 18 plus add on would go crazy. Blushing bright red, she places a hand over her chest. I'm sorry, Cersei, I didn't mean to. I was still half asleep and I thought you were my dad. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Absolutely not. I deny it emphatically. While still red in the face, she smiles. Huh? Aren't you upset at me, Nozomi? She gives it some thought. Huh? What about me? How crazy would it be if he left Hector as he woke up? No, of course not. If anything, this feels like the last lucky break I'm gonna have this year. So thank you for the treat. <laughs> Put my hands together and bow deeply. <laughs> what kind of breakfast? The zombie doesn't seem the slightest bit upset. That's a relief. I don't know what I'd do if she started crying or something. <laughs> Dang, you gotta really hate someone if you started crying if someone accidentally kissed you. That'd be kind of crazy. But I suppose it was just an accident, or disgusted, from her point of view. She probably doesn't count it as a real kiss. Hold on, I just thought about this too. What are the chances of two people actually kissing like that, you know, in a situation like these two? Like with these two? I feel like it'd be more of a probability that they collided noses, or you know what I mean? Like, huh? Grabbing my hand, she pulls me out of bed. Ah, that's right. Today's the day of the Shrine Raiden Festival. I'd better wash my face and wake myself up. <clears throat> but as I turn on the faucet, a thought suddenly occurs. It'd be a bit of a shame to wash my lips so soon. Just do it! <laughs> the Shrine Grounds are lined with stalls, bustling with activity. Nevertheless, Nozomi's voice carries clearly through the air. うん。住み染めさんはここだけじゃなくてお守りを売ったりするでしょ。そのためにキガイていたら大変であろう。効率と客引き効果を考えて、ナザミさんはクレーブーリの巫女ということで。Yes, <笑> That's crazy. Exploitation is very real. Don't look at me. I'm not a lawyer. No, she brought up bees and birds, whatever that means. Huh? Zomi and I both look at Yuchidani san. Mystery? The culprit? That's you! Slap her on the shoulder, playing the bit. 
I love Maze and Kose's uh, playfulness with each other. I think it's so nice. It's funny. It's funny. Whoa, whoa. Let's not get too carried away here. I'm not about to run away from home over something that silly. What a little baby. Yuchidani-san tries to persuade her. Good idea. The power of friendship will surely... Oh god. Wait one god dang second. Don't go saying that without my permission. Nozomi furrows her brows pensively. What? Now you'll consider it? <laughs> hey, shut up. I do have feelings, you know. You're definitely attract a ton of customers. I think you should wear it. That sounds terrible. She smiles but a vein pulses near her temple as she says this. Please don't. I feel like the gods might actually listen to you, Nozomi. Sorry, sorry, I was just kidding. The truth is, you make an adorable shrine maiden. That's why I want you to wear it. As I accidentally let my true feelings slip, she suddenly turns bright red from the neck up. Oops. What the heck did I just say? The others are standing right there. I, uh, uh, wait. I take that back. I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> Zomi covers her mouth with her hands, trembling. Even her ears have turned red. Alright, she's getting very excited. She wriggles in embarrassment. Shiki and Suzune-san throw her scornfully at me. Finally. She then dashes off towards the shrine in high spirits. Alright. Yes, Mr. Cat person. At last, the Shrine Maiden Festival is in full swing. That said, the Akaiwa Shrine isn't a particularly famous shrine or anything like that. Although it's never so busy that you have to line up the prey at the temple. Business is booming. There's even a line starting to form outside our stall. Suzuna-san is baking crepes as fast as she can. It's my job to add the cream bananas and chocolate toppings. Shut up. I I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. I'm a total novice when it comes to making crepes. But if I start rushing things, the quality is going to go down. Still, why are we getting so many customers? あ、会話しない。あ、ミコさんが手売りする魅惑のミコチョコバナナクレープと隅染めのぞみのミコ姿とクレープの画像をアップしたら効果的面だ。Dang。なんでも県外のミコさん好きの人も着てるっぽいです
my brother. Yes, Nozomi, it's very, very cute. Is it just me or are there people from all over the country? Some of them even straight up seem like foreigners. Mikado looks rather pleased in himself. Yes, yes, good job. Now stop loading and help me wrap these crates. With how busy things are, I need all the help I can get. You couldn't give me a better backstory than that, Suzune? With deft hands, Suzune san continues producing crap after crap, incredibly thin, but never burnt. What blinding speed. Fine, I'll have to go all out too. It's time I showed you the true power of a crepe wrapping king. He said, ah, I concentrate everything I have into my fingers. <laughs> Great. Bananas, dark chocolate, with both speed and precision, I place each ingredient on top of the other and fold. Wow, I didn't know crepe folding was so intense. As I pray, unlimited crepe works. Final form. <laughs> The girls seem to be having fun, laughing and giggling, what I wouldn't give to join in. But as a crepe wrapping king, I have to keep my eyes focused and my hands moving. Dang it. The two girls promptly resume, handing out crepes. Finally, I can concentrate again. Suzuna-san glances over at me as she bakes more crepes. Crepes, crepes, doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. I'm really not. I also answer her as I continue to rap. Well, thanks. Uh, Wink. Hey, come on, we're married now. Why are you still calling me Kosei? Mm. <laughs> You're so cute, my sweet honey. <laughs> Me too. Ah, having a newlywed waitress is the best. Ah, huh? What am I doing here? Zombie pulls on my ears, snapping me out of my reverie. My bad, I must have been daydreaming. Sorry, I'll get right to it. Pouting, the zombie heads back towards the stall. Sorry, I'll try to focus. Time to get back to work. Our stall is practically besieged by customers. According to Mikado, we're making so much profit that it's more than enough to cover the losses from closing the cafe today. Shrine Mating Cafe? Now there's an idea. The sun is beginning to set, and we're half an hour away from the the, 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 the dedication dance ceremony. Our crepes had completely sold out. By now, I'm already exhausted.
Dang, she had to do that all day. Dang, she had to do that all day and she still has to perform. That's crazy. You didn't have to keep working after we told you you could stop. I look beside me and Nozomi with some concern. Well, hopefully not everything. Hope you haven't forgotten how the dance goes at least. The other girls form a circle around Nozomi, offering her words of encouragement one by one. Overcome with emotion, Nozomi looks like looks to be on the verge of tears. I place the flat of my palm gently on top of her head. You ready to get going, Nozomi? For the sake of that Akaiwa shrine and everyone who prays here. Ask the gods to bless us all with good fortune in the coming year with your dance. Nozomi smiles. Illuminated by the setting sun, her expression gives off a much more mature vibe than usual. It's a smile filled with compassion, like that of a mother's. See you later. Waving goodbye, Nozomi and I make our way towards your house. はい、のぞみさん、今雰囲気が変わりました。あ、そしてそれにこうするように、この神社全体の空気も変わった。うん。ずっと見張られていましたからね。でもどうして何もしかけてこなかったんでしょうか。我が輩たちがいたからだろう
Surely you mean the other way around? Nozomi wakes me up every morning and even makes me breakfast too. I definitely owe her more than she owes me. I ended up getting my butt kicked though. When Nozomi was unharmed, it isn't a particularly proud memory of mine. Well, once you've learned something, it's pretty easy to teach other people. My halfway decent grades are about the only thing I've got going for me anyway. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh god, what do you do? But why are you crying, Nozomi chan? I didn't even do anything. But what I do? I remember this. I just wanted to give her some handouts from school. Yoko-chan had a cold, so she had to miss class. But you're not even in elementary school yet. So she remembers me comforting her, huh? Doesn't seem like she remembers what she was crying about, though. Zomi strains up. Oh, right. Show him what you're made of. <laughs> I can't speak for everyone else, but I promise I won't. Whatever happens, I'll always be on your side, Nozomi. Without even realizing it, my hand had naturally reached out the pat her on the head. She buries her face softly into my chest. With that, Nozomi dashes out of the room, almost like she's running away. A promise? Which promise did she mean? <laughs> Among the crowd of visitors, I managed to spot the others, who finished changing out of their work clothes. She's feeling good and confident. Now that I think about it, I should have saved Natsume's route for at least one of the last ones instead of the first ones. Oh man. Rip. As long as she does what we practiced, she'll be fine. The moment I say this, the crowd begins to murmur excitedly. <laughs> My brother. Yes, not so me. It's perfect. Perfect. For real. <laughs> Zomin steps up from within the shrine. She gazes around serenely, serenely at the gathered onlookers before giving a slight bow. No matter how you slice it, this is a real bona fide shrine maiden. Though not quite on the level of the shrine princess who comes every year, there's still a tangible aura of authenticity surrounding Zomi. Not that that comes as a surprise. She's Akaiwa Shrine's one true shrine maiden after all. Ooh, this looks really cool. The bells in her fan ring out pleasantly. In that moment, the murmurs of the crowd fall silent. Then, with flowing movements, Nozomi begins to dance. Ring, ring, ring. Every chime seems to reverberate in my chest. I say that right. Reciting the ancient Amatsu no Rito, Nozomi prays to the gods in solemn tones. She prays for all to be blessed with good health in the coming year. I stand there transfixed. 
She's so beautiful. You're incredible, Nozomi. If that doesn't catch the gods' attention, then I doubt anything will. Ring. With one final chime of her bells, the dance ends. A quiet stillness settles over the shrine. It's as if everyone had, has collectively forgotten how to breathe. Turning to face the crowd once more, Nozomi gives one last bow. And then... That was very quick. Yes, yes, Nozomi is Toto, yes! <laughs> Them speaking English reminds me of that one guy. I forgot his name because it's been a while since I've seen Jujutsu Kaisen. But the guy that's always calling <laughs> Itadori brother. <laughs> All at once, the stillness is shattered as the shrine erupts with cheers and applause. What a performance. I can see why everyone is so excited. Mikado creeps up beside me without a sound, as expected of a cat. That's terrific news. I'm glad we managed to resolve this before the end of the year. I breathe a sigh of relief. Sounds great. Nozomi and I will be there for sure. Yeah, see you then. I part ways with Akizuki san and Mikado and set off at a quick pace. I want to see her. I want to see Nozomi as soon as possible. Yeah, this soundtrack is so nice. I love it. Now, now, Nozomi. Alright, up, up. <laughs> Nozomi and I passed the time in the room playing cards. It's still too early to go to the cafe. Sweet, I win. <laughs> Nozomi puffs out her cheeks. That's because you've got a terrible poker face. Yeah,、right. So much for those ten wins. Now the Zoman has seized the upper hand. Alright, alright, I get it. I beg you to stop. I never even managed to confess to any of those girls. No, that was on her route. <laughs> my body temperature instantly shoots up at those words. Crap, my face is on fire. And Zomi's going to find out that I. No, she already knows. Please don't torture me with kissing tones. Ah, the moment I see Nozomi's blushing face, I understand. It's finally come to this. You're an idiot, Takamine Kosei. A real dumbass. It's time for you to man up. Please go out with me, Nozomi. Before Nozomi can confess to me, I confess to her. That was close, I almost didn't make it. Finally, for real. The two of us stand and hold each other at the same time. Sorry it took me so long. <laughs> She's smart. Sorry, I just couldn't find the right. No, scratch that. That's a lie. The truth is, I was too comfortable with our relationship as childhood friends. I was scared of ruining what we had. I hated the thought that I might have to stop being friends with you. You were too close for me to say it. Too close for me to tell her I love her. 
恋人になったってならなくったって幼なじみは幼なじみだよそこは何があっても変わらないよ She puts her arms around my back, giggling. I pull her soft body into an even deeper embrace. I had no idea she was so slender. Who knew girls' bodies were this delicate? <laughs> There's a hint of bewilderment in Ozomi's voice. Huh? Uh, before I'd even realized it, my member had stiffened on its own. How insane. Even Ozomi noticed it. Not cool. Not cool. Uh, uh sorry. I quickly let go of Ozomi. It's not what you think, Nozomi san. I wasn't having any dirty thoughts or anything like that. I flustered, I tried to explain myself. Listen here, boys. Listen up, boys. If you're ever in a position like this man here, and even if the girl looks like she's into you, don't pull out your pee pee. Just don't. Don't do it. Even if you guys are making out, even if she gets on top of you, don't pull it out. Don't pull out the little guy. All right. Even if she wants to pull it out, then that's okay. B but otherwise, do not pull him out. She's like, I want that dick. <laughs> what? Of course you are. Ridiculous. So, I emphasize fiercely. Yes, now bend over. <laughs> she cross examines me. <laughs> I was having dirty thoughts. Yes, no point trying to hide it anymore. But I'm not saying I want to do it right now or anything. I love you, Nozomen, so I want to take things I want to take things slowly. <laughs> so until you're prepared. Oh, she said bend me over right now. Huh? I forget she's like a year or two younger, I think. I don't recall it. I don't even know if they said it. They might have. I don't I don't remember. Eh? Jumbi? For what? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, while I stand there dumbfounded, Nozomi leaves the room. What's happening? I'm left to wait alone in her room. Where did she go and to do what? What does she mean get ready? Get ready for what? Why? Around 20 minutes later, Nozomi returns, blushing from head to toe. She's wearing her shrine maiden outfit. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Huh? I can't only stare. As I watch Nozomi sits down, say that style? What the heck is that? In front of me. I am sure he will. Pressing three fingers of each hand to the floor, she bows. Wait, what are you doing, Nozomi? Make it sound like this is our wedding night. No. What were you even doing this whole time? Alright, great, but now he's not clean. What? Then why are you wearing your shrine maiden clothes? <laughs> he does. That's right. Huh? That's crazy. In a good way. Like, good for him. Good for them. Aren't you skipping a few steps here in the zombie? We only just started going out. Now all of a sudden we're married? Aren't things moving a little too fast? Gives her a big kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Blushing, she claps her hands together. Ah, I can't believe this is really happening. She knows just what kind of stuff I'm in there. But at the same time, I don't want to admit it to her either. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute, Nozomi san. Now that's crazy. No, your choice of outfit isn't the issue here. Her school uniform would have been really cute too, though. Don't you think we're taking things too fast? She looks puzzled. Still, normally you'd start by going on a date or something first, right? Ah, he's a gentleman, kind of. Well, I guess that's true. Now that she mentions it. But no, still. We haven't even kissed yet. Huh? But that didn't count, did it? 
付き合うんだったらカウントするに決まってるよ。Oh, I'm slowly running out of excuses to give her. But do I really have any reason to refuse to begin with? Absolutely not, bro. The little man is up too. Get to work. そもそも最初に膨らんだ股間を私に押し付けたのは昴生君の方だよ。<laughs> she suddenly steps forward, <laughs> peering up into my face. Her large, clear eyes stare fixedly on the mind. So much pressure, but also rather adorable. This, combined with the smell of her soapy fragrance, ah, yes, soap, is too much for me. Are you sure about doing it with me? I'm saying that she presses herself into my chest. I will, but just so you know, it's my first time too. I'm probably not very good at this, so I apologize in advance if I'm not able to make you feel good. She suddenly kisses me without warning, but I quickly respond with my own. He said, Mmm. Let's move this to the bed. Your bed is like two feet away. Get your on there yourself. All right, all right. I'm just saying, like, it's literally right next to him. Picking her up in my arms, I carry her to the bed. Imagine getting carried. Like, you guys are about to get, like, hot and heavy, right? And then if you're a girl watching this, or you're a guy, I don't know what you're into, but you're getting carried. <laughs> and, like, to be sexy and everything, you throw the person in the bed, and then they hit their head and die. Like, what are you going to tell their parents? What are you even gonna say? Like, how, how do you get out of that? You don't. Picking her up in my arms, I carry her to the bed. Yeah, sexy time. Oh, yeah. Oh, weren't you guys gonna be with Kana? Oh, wow. It's later than I thought. Nozomen and I are still cuddling in a room when the shrine's bell clanged, ringing in the new year. Happy New Year, Nozomen. I'd like to sleep together tonight, but then your parents would definitely find out about us. You think they'll approve of me dating you? Come on, you'll catch a cold if you sleep without any clothes on. Too late. Too late. That was quick. She sure knows how to fall asleep easily. Guess I'll stay a bit longer before leaving. Phew, what a day. Selling crepes with Nozomi, watching her dance, making her my girlfriend, and consummating our relationship. Hmm? Feels like I'm forgetting something important, though. Yeah, sure did. I'm sure they'll understand though, bro was busy laying pipe. New challenge. Try to ejaculate at the same time as the clock hits midnight on New Year's. Oh crap, the timing, the timing, the timer went off long ago and I forgot about it, Jesus Christ. Actually, no, this is perfect timing, it just crossed the one hour, so we're good. This is perfect timing. This is perfect timing. You can sit right here. I'm gonna wrap it up here. It was a good episode, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it, and I don't really have much to say about it, really. 
but I think they make a really, really good fit, you know. I I was never like super crazy head over heels about Nozomin, but you know, because I've talked about how great Natsume is, you know, for me it's Natsume. But, you know, Nozomin is a really fun character too, and her root has been very, very good too. So so far I don't think there's a wrong choice. Except maybe may but with that being said that's all i have to say about this episode i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please let me know by hitting that like subscribing if you haven't already done so and share this video with your homies let's hit a thousand subscribers we're so close to 900 as soon as i hit a thousand subscribers i may not know how to act i'm not gonna lie to you anyways i'll let y'all go thank you so much once again for watching it really means a lot to me i'll see you guys in the next video as always y'all stay safe and until next time